However, after a short while, I began to realize that wholeness was um, certainly possible, and not only possible, but there was a whole realm of uh, experiences, divine experiences, that are available to everyone, every single moment that we can, in fact, lead ourselves through and to. We can lead ourselves beyond the mind and into what quantum physics is now discovering to be true. And um, there are ways now to be in this world that are just phenomenal, phenomenal, and available to everyone. I, I am not unusual. I am a, a regular, ordinary person, and I happen to be doing kind of extraordinary things right now, only because everyone else hasn't yet discovered that it's available. And so we all have this kind of an opportunity. Excuse me, I just knocked my laptop off of the desk. We all have this opportunity to really begin to grow and uh, experience things in whole new ways. And what I first experienced was I walked up to a friend and gave her a hug, and I heard a loud uh, tearing noise. And that loud tearing noise was actually the adhesions uh, from her appendix surgery that she had had years before, and that was the sound of the adhesions letting go. Because what she said was, I don't know what just happened, however, the pain in my side just stopped. And I hadn't known anything about a pain in her side. It was just a spontaneous flowing through of the connection that had been made internally as a result of uh, the event I'd been through and the alignment now with source in a new way. And then shortly after that, I would have so much energy coming through my hands that if I set my hands on the skin, it would burn an enormous handprint, a bright, bright red handprint, which would then last about a month. It would be like a, a sunburn that then turned golden brown and then faded away, except there was no discomfort with it. It was just the color. So um, there was energy coming through me in new ways. And then shortly after that, I realized I was able to actually see inside the body. And that happened when a friend came to me and said, can you help me with my back? I understand strange things kind of happen around you sometimes. And I realized I could see inside the body. And it was very simple then just to realign the vertebrae and the little broken piece off the vertebrae that had happened in an auto accident years before. And the pain was done. And that's, uh, you may, I heard you mention about Greg Braden and his book, The Isaiah Effect. And yes, in fact, it was possible then just to see the crack in the man's skull. Uh, Greg was there and John Below was there, and this elderly gentleman fell and hit his head uh, on the concrete. He fell without even being able to break his fall, and, and I heard his head crack. And I was the first one there. I was standing just a few feet away. and. Um, could see that there was a, a cut and some bleeding uh, uh, over by his ear and down on his neck. But what was really important to me was that his, he had a, a bad concussion going on, a crack in his skull and brain trauma. And so it was simple being able to see inside to just uh, begin to close that crack. Now, of course, visually to, to those around, Greg and John Below and the others that uh, came, uh, visually, what they saw was the cut heel up and the bleeding stop and that sort of thing. My focus was on the concussion. And of course, about 15 minutes later, the, the, EM, the EMTs arrived uh, quickly. And about 15 minutes later, they were finished and had done all of their tests and blood pressure and respiration and all those things. And they just looked at the man and said, you're a very lucky man. You're just fine. You can go home with your wife. And uh, that was a delightful ending to that particular scene. And I turned to Drunvalo and I said, you know, he'll never know what happened, will he? And Drunvalo just kind of smiled and laughed and winked. It was like, yes, of course, you know, this is, um, this is how life happens sometimes. And so I began to uh, have people start coming and, to me and say, can you help with this particular situation? And I didn't have any particular interest in being a healer. I was a high school science and math teacher. And um, eventually, people began coming. I finally said, fine, I will put together a little small group. And that was about uh, 15 years ago. And very soon, I stopped my teaching job. And 
then I was asked if I could, oh, you know it's time to make a new list. Can we do that? Yes. So I have to um, just remind people to bring to mind five or six uh, new items that you would like to have different in your life. Bring them to mind or write them down. And uh, the energy will start addressing those. Um, well, I'm just pausing for a moment as that gets started. OK, that's great. So we'll continue now with this second list of items. Good. All right, so that's underway now. So um, people began finally to say, Joe, would you show us how to do what you're doing? And of course, I, I didn't know how to show anyone how to do it. It had happened spontaneously for me. And um, what I finally did was I began watching exactly what is it that I'm able to do that perhaps everyone could do. And, um, and maybe they didn't need to be able to be able to see what's going on in the aura and the energy field and know how to shift the different frequencies that are visible in the uh, aura when there's a, uh, something going on that's difficult for a person. And it's very easy to shift those vibrationally. And I, I thought, what, what could I show someone to do? And not too long after that, when I begin to ask the universe for uh, assistance, as we all discover when we ask the universe for assistance, we are given the answers. So I was shown how to pass the ability from, uh, from me, basically, from me to others. So it comes from source. And through an initiation form, it is able to be passed from source through to these individuals so that uh, any individual can have the ability then to make dramatic changes in other people's lives just by following a few really simple steps then that I show them to do. So the most difficult part was learning how to pass this ability on to others and then just train them how to use it. And that, um, that now has become a a training program, actually, that uh, is a way that people can come and learn how to do a technique that's now being called the pulse technique. Because generally, when we are aligned with source, we can feel this magnificent, uh, rhythmical pulsing going on. It's just it's delightful. And uh, Joe, so, may, Joe, I may I just tell you, in California, we've just experienced a small earthquake. <laughs> oh my goodness! When did that happen? Just now. Just now. Oh, That's my goodness. Just so I just wanted to let you know that energy is moving here. <laughs> so where are you located? I'm in Southern California. It was very small, mm -hmm. but um, it, we just had one. Well, that's pretty amazing. I wonder where the epicenter was. That's, um, that's amazing. Things, ama amazing things happen as we are doing energy work. Now, did the earthquake happen because of this? Heck, I don't know. I don't have any idea. But we do find that a, a very unusual things happen during this level of energy work because it's going out to wherever there's a listener. And if you have listeners all around the world, this energy is being transmitted to them right now. So it's kind of wrapping our, our planet and embracing it. So for, for anyone that wants to learn how to do these kinds of techniques, it's, it's simple now to uh, to just go through an initiation process, spend a weekend, and receive the training to learn how to do it. And in fact, the, the next training program is coming up um, the end of February, the end of uh, February. So that's available for anyone who'd like to uh, receive that. And if you, uh, if you want to experience some of the energy work, uh, some of the ways that I'm able to offer that uh, free of charge to people is like through radio shows like this. So we play the show. And the other ways are two uh, teleconferences every single month that are absolutely free. So that any place in the world, you can call in and receive a life-changing, uh, powerful energy work just by being on the phone call, just as the listening audience is today. They, you don't need to participate in terms of conversation or identifying yourself. So it's completely confidential. And those are the, the second Thursday of each month. Uh, there's a teleconference for an hour that's the pulse technique. So that's a way to experience uh, what will be taught 
uh, the end of February, which is the pulse technique. And that technique is done multiple times during that one hour conference. Uh, and you get to choose a new item for each time. So you can make some wonderful changes in your life. And then the other time to experience energy work uh, by teleconference that uh, is offered free is the last Tuesday of each month. This ends part three of the Law of Attraction talk radio interview with Joe Dunning. Please go to part four, or you can download the entire show by going to lawofattractiontools.com and click on the Listen Live button.